Here's the harsh truth. If you're running Facebook ads without tracking, you're basically burning money. Your competitors, they're tracking every click, every sale, and that's why they're winning. So today I'm breaking down exactly how to set up Facebook Pixel the right way so you can track your ad performance, retarget potential customers, and optimize your ad delivery like a pro. At the end, I'll share a bonus tip on how to use pixel data to actually make your ads perform better. So stick around. Before we dive into the setup, let's talk about why you actually need Facebook Pixel, now called MetaPixel. It's a snippet of code that tracks what visitors do on your website. Without it, you're basically guessing whether your ads are working or not. Think of it like a security camera for your store, so you can see what aisles people are going down, what they are buying, and how fast they're leaving. Your MetaPixel does three things. It tracks conversions to show which ads drive sales and which ones waste money. It creates retargeting audiences from people who've already visited your site and it optimizes ad delivery. So what can you track? Think purchases, signups, add to cart events, and over 15 other interactions, giving you a complete view of how people engage with your website. All right, now you know why Pixel is a game changer. Let's get you set up so your ads actually start paying off. There are three essential steps to get set up the right way. Step one is to set up your Meta Business Manager. Here's how to do it. Go to the Meta Business Tool page and log in with either your Facebook or Instagram account, and you'll be taken to the Meta Business Suite. Under your account, click Create a Business Portfolio. Type in your business name, personal details, business email, and submit your application. Then confirm your email by clicking the link that was sent to you. For step two, let's set your website up properly. Make sure you have permission to edit your website's code or CMS. Confirm that your website uses HTTPS for security. You can check this by looking for a padlock icon in the browser address bar. In step three, we'll gather your tools. Install MetaPixel Helper. Head to the Chrome Web Store and add the MetaPixel Helper extension. This tool will help you check if your pixel is working correctly after setup. Access Events Manager. Log into Meta Business Tools and find Events Manager. It's right underneath your account name on the dashboard. Make sure both tools are installed and accessible before moving on to the next step. All right, you've got the tools ready. Nice work. But before we dive into creating your pixel, I've got to give you a quick reality check. Setting up the technical side is important, but if you're not using the right strategies from the start, you're just setting yourself up for headaches later on. That's why we put together a marketer's guide specifically designed for small businesses using Facebook and Instagram. It's packed with proven strategies that make setting up and using MetaPixel way easier and way more effective. You can grab your free copy from the link in the description. Seriously, don't skip it, it's a game changer. Now that you're prepared, let's go ahead and install your Facebook Pixel. This is where things get exciting, because once it's set up, you'll finally see which one of your campaigns are actually driving results. Head over to the Business Manager and select the business page that you wanna use. Go to Events Manager and click on Connect Data. Select Web and hit Next, then click Create New Data Set and give it a name. A good rule of thumb is to just name it your business name. Click Create, and now you can view this pixel and data sources. See that long Long stream of numbers or code that looks like a password, that's your pixel ID. Now there are two main methods to installing the pixel you created into your website, the manual method and the partner integration. So back to the business page again and the events manager overview, click on connect data, select web and then click next. Head to the drop down menu and select the pixel you wanna use hit next and click on set up manually and then hit next. Now choose meta pixel only. This is the code you'll need to add to your website. Just copy it and paste it into the header section of your site's code. If you're not sure where that is, it's usually at the top of your HTML file, right between these tags. Nice, you're doing great so far. Let's keep going and make sure everything's set up perfectly. Remember that meta pixel helper you installed earlier? Now it's time to put it to work. To make sure your pixel is properly set up on your website, open the meta pixel helper extension on your Chrome tab. Right away, you'll see a number at the bottom. That's how many pixels are detected on the page. Click on it to see the full list of pixels. If your newly created pixels show up, you're good to go. Now for the partner integration method, you're still gonna start off on the events manager page. Click connect data and click web. Select the pixel that you wanna use for your store from the dropdown menu and click next. Then from the selections, choose set up with partner integration. Here you'll have many options for partner stores, Shopify, WordPress, Wix, and many others. Just choose your partner from the list, click next, and then follow the setup instructions. Once that's done, you'll just need to verify your connection and click next again. At this point, your pixel 
should be up and running. But here's the real question. Are you actually capturing the right data to make your campaigns perform better? Let's find out. You see, right now your Pixel is just like a security camera that's just been installed in your retail store. It can see people coming in, but it can't tell you what they're actually doing inside. So what we need to do next is teach it exactly what to watch for. And we can do this by creating what's called events. Events act like sensors throughout the store, tracking which aisles people visit, what products they picked up, and whether they checked out at the register. These events can measure the actions that are really helpful to your business, like page views, add to carts, and of course, purchases. Now let's go over how to set this up. Go back to the events manager and click on data sources. Choose the pixel that you wanna create an event for from the drop down menu. Click on the settings tab and scroll down to the event setup section. Hit open event setup tool and enter your website URL. Then click add events. And just like that, your events are all set up. But here's the thing, this is where most marketers totally drop the ball. They set everything up and just assume it's working. Spoiler alert, assumptions don't make sales. It's like setting up these security cameras in your store, but forgetting to hit record. You've got the setup, but you're not actually capturing anything useful. Let's make sure your tracking is working properly so you're not flying blind. So this is where the MetaPixel helper comes in handy again. Navigate to your website in Chrome and check if your Pixel ID is listed in the MetaPixel helper. If you run into issues like Pixel did not load or invalid Pixel ID, don't panic. Just double check your setup in the events manager to make sure everything's in the right place. A quick fix now saves you a lot of headaches later. And while you're doing this, you might wanna ask yourself, what's the most important event you wanna track for your business? Keep your answer in mind as we do this last step, verifying events. To make sure your events are actually working, go to your website and perform a test action, like adding a product to your cart. Then open a MetaPixel helper to check if the event fired correctly. Now head over to Events Manager and verify that the data is flowing as expected. If everything checks out, no pun intended, you're good to go. And that's it. You've officially set up your MetaPixel the right way. You're now one step closer to running smarter, data-driven Facebook ads. And since you're obviously serious about mastering Meta ads, you can grab the Meta Marketing Guide for Facebook and Instagram down below in the description. But hey, setting up tracking is just the beginning. If you really wanna maximize your ad performance, you need to know how to actually use this data. That's why I put together a complete guide on Facebook ads retargeting. So you can take your newly gathered data and turn it into real results. I'm gonna link it after this video. If this tutorial just saved you from a tracking nightmare, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions about your Facebook pixel, leave it below and I'll try my best to help you out. See you on the next video.